All right, welcome back to our post-round interview here. Uh, after round number one, match number four, of course, hosted uh, Thailand Mix, hosted by Trust Golf. Of course, for the folks at home, you see I'm accompanied by a giant here from Australia, Hayden Barron. Uh, did I say that correctly? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Hayden, you shot, you had nine points today in our Stable Fords point challenge. Um, talk to us. What was good? What was bad? Where do you see yourself improving for the days to come? Yeah, it was an interesting one. Um, we, we were kind of having a chat last night trying to figure out where we should be more aggressive and where we should just kind of play for, for the fat side and try and maybe uh, be more a bit more aggressive on the greens. Mm. Um, I birdied the first and then um, bogeyed the third, which the par five, which was which hurt a bit. Um, I think I've birdied that every, every time I've played it. And then I went for the green on the fourth hole mm. um, and hit in the water and made bogey as mm. well. So then I kind of decided to neglect that and go back to how I played the stroke play and, and just use all the same clubs I did off the tees for, for the whole of last week. and. Uh, managed to make, I think, maybe five or six more birdies from there. So that was okay. probably the key. Okay. I'm looking up so much. It's giving me a bit of a... I'm getting nauseated. I'm joking. <laughs> That's cool. So you really actually feel like playing more conservative, like mm. back in stroke play, allowed you to gain more points here, even on a shorter golf course with tight fairways. Tell the viewers why is that the case? Yeah, I think... Uh, I mean, last week I hit one driver every round on the seventh hole, um, and that was the only time I, I hit it all week. So... Um, I'm kind of hitting it up into the bottlenecks where it, it kind of gets a fair bit tighter up near the greens. Mm -hmm. And um, for example, on the sixth, I think a lot of the guys are hitting driver there now. But if I pull it or, or block it, it's going to go kind of past the green and, mm -hmm. and into the hazard there. So, I mean, um, my wedges have been pretty good uh, for the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so if I can leave myself, you know, 80, 90 metres in, I feel like I can get it pretty close. And mm -hmm. it's just about being a bit more aggressive with the, with the putter, I think. And, I've struggled to get them there for the last couple of weeks. So Yes, for the viewers at home that are maybe amateur golfers, sometimes it's not all about the long ball. It's actually about placing yourself in the right, correct distance where you can absolutely capitalize your uh, your wedge control, just like uh, Hayden is saying here. And I'm sure a lot of the holes, you're over hitting the fairway. You're hitting it through the greens. You're hitting yeah. it through the fairways. So, of course, electing a lot of those long irons or maybe even some fairway medals was yeah. kind of the right club for you. Hayden, now quick switch um, back to a little bit on your background of golfing a little bit. Obviously, we heard from the grapevines that you are getting an, uh, an opportunity to play in the U.S. Open. Um, tell us a little bit about how that became, how that came to fruition. I heard something along the lines of holding out eagle on the last hole to finally get that. Tell us that story. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, for the British Open, yeah. um, and the... Australian Tour has three invites for the Australian Open. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I managed to finish fourth there. Um, and fortunately, the, the guy, Adrian Moronk, who won, was already um, exempt. So I think it was him or either him or Adam Scott was already mm -hmm. exempt. So it slid down an extra spot. But yeah, it was, um, it was a good week. I was kind of sitting about third at the end of every round. And I was just a couple over in the last round, not playing my best. And um, birdied the 17th, which was playing as the hardest hole all week, and then eagled 18 from just off the green to, to um, jump back up into, into fourth and, and claim, the, uh, claim the exemption. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm sure that's a special moment for you. Is this going to be your first major you're playing? Yeah, it will be, yep. Be my How first has that been affecting you preparing into this situation? Has it put a little bit of nerves in there? Have you thought about how big the moment is going to be? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's Fortunately, I've had a lot of time to think about it, so it's not caught me by surprise that was in um, early December last year so mm -hmm. I've known it's coming up for a while and that was probably why um, my coach and I elected to come and play these events to kind of get a couple of competitions mm -hmm. under the belt because mm -hmm. there wasn't a whole lot happening back home just some small um, pro-ams which probably aren't the best lead up prep so mm -hmm. try and get a couple of four round four rounders under the belt four and round events, um, yeah. then head to head to Europe as soon as we're finished here so so after, as soon as you finish this tournament, you are flying straight to Europe. Yeah, I'm going home to repack the bags, mm -hmm. um, get rid of the shorts, and maybe pack a couple of jumpers. <laughs> no um, more shorts yeah. once you go there, that's for sure. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm, la I'm landing kind of two full weeks early. So I'll be there for a while to do some prep beforehand. Man, but yeah. Fantastic. Only, well, actually, I'm not going to tell the viewer how old you are. Tell the viewers in Thai. How old are you? Uh, Yusip Jet. Okay, that's 27. Yes. Yusip Jet, you hear? This young man's a quick learner, <laughs> uh, good at golf, tall as an empire building, <laughs> could, play, could hit the ball a mile away. Obviously, uh, great talent. 
But I want to switch to one more boring technical question. You said you had a coach. Yep. Um, what are you and your coach working on? If you're, if you could break down a little bit of your technical parts, or is it mental? Is it, what, what, what are the key things you guys are really working on? Yeah. Um, at the minute, um, I guess we're just trying to tidy up some things. We've mm. done. He, he likes to think we've done the the majority of the work over the last few years, but um, so we're just trying to tweak a couple of things. Um, bit more extension in my lead leg. I, I tend to kind of finish with a bit of a bent knee. Um, that's Getting kind of through more, yeah. tightness of the hip. So mm -hmm. just a lot of stretching work to make mm -hmm. sure that um, I'm feeling nice and flexible and I can finish over on that lead side. Mm -hmm. And then um, just some trail arm stuff, which, mm -hmm. which you know, making sure the right arm's tracking in the, in the right spots, which we've been working on for a couple of years now. So just keep you on top of that. Okay, yeah. very neat. Some yeah. trail arm work. Is it, are you just trying to be more abducted, adduction? What is it? Give us, break it down. I'm a teacher as well. I'm interested. <laughs> I want to know. Um, basically, I guess just trying to feel like um, I keep more pressure onto my, onto my lead arm with my trail arm. Mm. Um, just to you know, make sure you don't get a bent, a bent mm -hmm. lead arm and stuff like that and, and make sure you can keep the pressure on the golf ball and keep it in the air for as long as possible. Well, that's cool. Uh, the viewers at home, you guys heard it here first. This young man is going to play the British Open and he still has a coach working on his game hard, paying attention to details, preparation. It's truly an amazing. It's honor to have you here. Uh, but I will let you finish or close off this interview. Is there anything you want to say to your family, friends at home? Um, or anybody all around the world here? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, we're having fun over here in Thailand. Um, I've had plenty of rice over the last couple of weeks, so I'm um, looking forward to having some Australian food <laughs> sometime soon. But no, it's been great, and the, the course has been good fun, and yeah, appreciate you guys having us, so thanks very much. Cool, thank you. Thank good you. luck tomorrow, Cheers. bud.